Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance where at base last episode on more to the point at sea because our base is currently a ship as we sailed to Begmion we managed to talk to a little stowaway who joined our party in the form of Soph and we gave him a little bit of battle experience as well which leveled him up fairly well I'd say but the reason I'm mentioning that is because Mist is a bit far below Reese in overall level so overall usefulness though Reese has no defense at all and Mist actually does have some I think it might be good to try and catch her up a little bit because there's not much chance for healer experience and if you're wondering why I'm giving her 81 and not 80 experience, it's because that one over will help her with other, well, leveling up in the future, that's for sure. Strength, magic, luck and res with some extra HP. A pretty good level there. A little bit of defense or speed would be good though, stops her being doubled, well, I'm not really, shouldn't be really being a, a healer get hit. But the reason she has one XP over? is that one heal gives 11 experience, nine heals gives 99, and then you need that extra one to hit the cap. So mag and speed, I guess it's okay. Ah, may as well put some more in. It's not like we've been using it after all. What stats will she get this time? Probably hopefully better than last time. Mag, speed, luck, and res. No defense gain, but her overall magic went up, her speed went up, should prevent it from being doubled a bit more. I guess that's not too bad, so we'll leave it at that, or maybe we'll just maybe we'll just chuck some more and soft. Because why not? We're probably not gonna use him just yet, but still. Let's get that extra level up. Alright, gain some ski skill, speed, and res. We have a little bit of HP. I guess four stats isn't bad, but you kinda want some extra strength and stuff there, some extra defense. Well, let's end finally and actually go to battle rather than award experience all the time. Nasir, what is it? Nothing. Nothing we can do anything about at any rate. We're being followed by pirates. Really? I don't see any ships. Not by sea, by air. Look up. Are those birds? If they are, they must be huge. Those are Lagoozike. Ravens from Kilvas. Their black wings are an ill omen for all who see them. Titania, Sorin, you noticed them coming as well? Yes, Sorin and I saw them when we were discussing our plans from the aft decks. I'd heard stories, but they're really flying. Wow. We're still out of their range, but airborne foes can be especially troublesome. I prefer to avoid them altogether. Let's see if we can outrun them. From what I've been told, the flying corsairs of Kilvas and Furnishis are far more cruel than any beast lagoos. Winged pirates? How am I supposed to fight against that? Wh what was that? Oh, it felt like we hit something. Blast! We've run aground! Must be caught on a reef or something! Move it, lads! Get the ship free! A reef? Underground rocks is a. well, underwater rocks is a bit hard to kind of spot at times. Ike! The crows are coming! Pull everyone together! Looks like we're in for a fight! Is that even a reef? I mean, you could have gone round the big rocks. Not crash straight into massive rocks that jut out. Predictable humans sailed right into our trap without fell. Well, yeah, I'm just soldiers. I didn't do anything. It's the boat people that don't know how to boat. Let's finish this quickly. It won't be long before Phoenisis or Goldoa takes an interest in what's happening here. So now we have, like, pretty much an impossible battle. Well, not so impossible, but hard. Soren, Do you have a plan? I've done research in the past. All well, members of the bird tribes are vulnerable to wind magic. I think it's safe to assume that they are also as susceptible to arrows as any other flyer. Wind magic and bows. Alright! Everyone gather your weapons and prepare to meet the enemy on the deck! I want a small group to remain below decks to protect Princess Alincia and the crew. We've never faced an enemy like this. I want everyone to stay together. Let's go! Sure thing, right. Let's first of all get to choosing the units we want to fight here. So we're going to take Zhark out because we have a Myrmidon here and she has a good weapon. She has a good sword. That's for sure, right. Who else do I want and who else do I want? Oh, it seems fine to me. Maybe not left though. Being some turns that she can't act is probably not so great. We want Neff though. I kind of like Neff any quite a bit. We've got Kieran, Brom, Titania, Ilyana, Mordecai, Sof we could get in, but probably not going to do so well. Right. Maybe it's time for the Paladin Supreme to come out again. 
and start whacking some people down. Might not be a bad idea. Or Volk could come in, I guess. Right then, Volk, we could always use a thief. Let's hope you do some damage. We'll take you for this map. Well, let's actually view the map and see if we actually need a thief or anything like that, to be honest. Right, so we have a soldier here. We're going to press A on everyone, see their range. Plan our defense. We've got a coin here, which could be stolen, maybe. We've got a Lagoo Stone. That will drop because it's in the red. Coin that will drop because it's in the red. A Seraph Robe that will drop because it's in the red. Man, these guys have high speed and high strength and everything. We've got a coin and a blue gem here on the boss with Demi Ban there. A band that, when equipped, allows its wearer to maintain animal form at all times. All abilities are slightly lower while using the band. I wonder if I can steal that. I doubt it, considering it's equipped, still. So not that many people on the map, so we're okay. Let's A, A. No one can attack us here. You can attack. And then we've got these two down here, which don't seem to be able to reach at the moment. So we've got Seeker, and then we've got to look at our own guys. So first of all, we're going to move Mist nearer to the rest of the party. Well, we could defend up in a corner here, but... I'd say with these walls, we might have a better chance of defending on stairs than anything, depending on not if they just hop over. Well, all the same, I could put two strong units there, two strong units there, and two strong units there, and that would be fine. So we'll move Mr. here. Oscar, of course, can get a long, long way in no time at all. Volk over here, Mia, Neff. Yeah, I'd say that's a fairly strong first turn. And Soren's there just to kind of defend, I guess, a bit. Begin now indeed. We got Rolf there with the bows. We got Soren there with the wind magic that can do the ultra damage. We've got Marcia's the only one who can leave and go and fight. But we don't really want her to at the same time. So let's get planning our defense. First of all, the main defensive points. So Marcia, block that. We get Ike over here, block that. And now it seems that we are fine here. So if Mist moves up, then we've got Neff that can move to there, Mia that can move up here, but mind you, we don't need that exactly at the moment. But we'll move Mia to here anyway. And we've got Boyd over there. Volk and Rolf and Oscar. So we'll move you over to here, because you're high on the defensive thing, aren't you? That might be a good thing to do. Boyd can come round. Same with Rolf and the whatnot. And the Fene can probably survive an attack, so it's okay if we leave it there. It's the others we care about. Which sounds kind of coarse and nasty and all, but... No one that can't survive an attack, because she's got nine defense, is in trouble. Let's go for it. Let this first enemy come in. Of course you're going to attack her and not Oscar. But this puts you nicely on deck for us to fight as well. Right, a javelin attack with a critical there. Maybe we should have changed to an iron lance, to be honest. Well, leveling up. Right, gain strength and speed. So next turn, I'm going to beat you up, sir, is basically what she's saying. Right, another guy come in, and this guy come in, and now we have the treble times. Our first turn was fairly simple, now it's all about ridiculous amounts of defense. So, do you have an item that can heal? You don't have a vulnerary, that's brilliant. I say that in the complete and utter most sarcastic way, of course. Right. Well, you've got speed in that, so you can survive an attack. If we put you there, you shouldn't be able to take another one. That blocks off the top bit. Do we dare defeat that one? At this point in time, we can move Boyd in to do it, and Boyd could probably survive a go. Right, Mist and Soren are protected. It's Neff that's really the problem. Ah, so wait, if we move Neff to here, then move you in to heal over here. Right, 
right. We can move Rolf in. That'll keep everyone's... How did that keep those two safe? I guess he can fly up and over there and attack there, but if I'm at the rim, he can't attack up. If that's the case, if any of these rims do the same thing... Hmm... Right, speed 14, speed 15... Poor old Boyd. Let's move it. Oscar, you're moving to here. You're going to defend this side. Short spear or still lance? Well, you've got the highest defense. Boyd can get to here then and defend from here. Or I could move Ike up a spot. I guess Sorin would come under attack then. Boyd with an iron axe. And then we simply just sit and wait and let the turn unfold and see what's going to happen. That just ups his speed by putting on the Iron Axe because of weight as a whole. Mind you, his speed shouldn't be that neglected due to strength. And that means we do get rid of one of them straight away. Though probably we don't want the experience going on to Boyd, but... I think safety matters more because we've just been crammed into the butt of a ship. Alright, skill, luck and defense. Not so bad, sir. And the fact that you're about to reach 40 HP is a bit ridiculous. A Lagoo Stone is gained. Of course you're going to attack me. But gain defense, don't you know? It's a stupid idea. Get Iron Axe, sir. I've just got the HP to be able to survive this kind of thing. It's the other side that's more worrying. Oh, that, you got him as well, I guess. Right. Oscar versus you. Well, you did barely any damage. And a fair bit was returned, but your speed was enough that you could double against Oscar. Right, so that trooper didn't do anything after that. Caught up, at last. I'll do this on my own. I will not let them escape while I'm too busy mulling to notice that Jill has entered the fray. Huh, what are those things? Giant birds? Disgusting. Could they be... Are they bird half-breeds? Are you being sent in to be this traitory worm person? Because, to be honest, we know you're full-on Dayan. That'd be a really bad idea by the enemies, but here she comes. Let's find out what she wants. Right, we did a fair bit of damage that turn. Right. Marcia can take that one out with a slim lance after Boyd hits for 15 damage, I think he does. Or 14 damage, but the slim lance should work if it hits. Other than that, it's best to stay full defense because, well, we don't want to die. Oscar, you can't get out of there. The way people are crammed in at the moment is not good. We need out. The best way to get out, I guess, is here. If you hit. We are in trouble now. Big, big amounts of trouble. We can't get anyone out of the position we're in. And we can't do any range damage with the people where they are. Can we longbow? Oh, okay, this is our only chance. It's like Obi-Wan Kenobi, your only hope kind of moment. Steel Lance or Short Spear? Same kind of hit chance. We have to hope both of these hit chances work and that we can break out from one side. Well, there's one. I know we got doubled, but Oscar's fine. Hooray, we can canto to nowhere. <laughs> Longbow! Please! We beg of you, Longbow. Otherwise, we're going to have to do some massive rescuing. Yes! Right. Hit chances have saved me. Excellente. 
Reminds me of that time in Reckon no Ken, where if Sarah didn't dodge, she would have been doomed. Right, luck and defense gain there. You're not needed to be a tank, Rolf. Gain some extra strength. Some speed. Seraph robe is gained. Right. Assault. Attack. Lagoon Slayer. Please KO. No! That was what I'd have considered to be our chance. Right, Lock or Volk could move in here to try and block some of the way for people as well. Right, his speed is 13, your speed is 13, your speed is 15. You shouldn't be able to double me, so I can lock you in here. That's one way of doing things. Then I can move with Sorin. And nuke a little bit over the edge, right. There's two ways to look at this here. And I just messed it up again. Someone can move to here and Elwyn this guy. He can't be attacked, so we're fine. Ike's blocking the other side. Too bad you didn't vantage there or anything, sir. I would have liked that. Soren levels up. Gains Mag and Res. Some extra attack damage at the wrong time. A little bit earlier would have been good. My boys can't be attacked by this guy because of the way things are at the moment. Marcia might be the saviour that we need. Right, if we move to here, oh, we have to javelin. We can't slim lance this. Can I rescue him and take him away that way? Mist can't get around to heal him even. Okay, there's another way of doing this. We rescue... Sorin. You can't be attacked there, so then you move to here. And you mend Boyd. Alright, apart from that, Rolf can be attacked, Ike can be attacked. Rolf should probably survive this attack if we let it come. But again, we don't really have to. Well, actually, we do, because we have to step forward to here. Otherwise, Miss can be attacked. Well, that was a horrible phase. I hated every second of it, but Boyd gets attacked again. Why attack Boyd? Boyd will defeat you. You just want to mess with my experience, don't you? And in he comes to attack Boyd! This is because Boyd's got like the least defense or is the most able to be hit by them, let's put it that way. If only Lagoo Slayer were. Well, we got a chain of events that allowed us to not die. So that's great. But here comes Rolf being attacked. Rolf should survive this. He's got a high amount of defense. The fact that he's equipped the longbow though means that he gets doubled. Right, another one joins the fray. Seems to be going for Jill, but Jill seems to be coming upwards. Right, we only have two Lagoos to deal with on this phase, so it's not exactly that hard to do so. Right. It depends where we're getting the damage in. Lagoo Slayer attack here will take you down. Hit this time, Mia. Thank you. So we were in a bad spot. My tactics, of course, faulty yet again. But we've managed to fight our way out of it and are looking a lot safer for it. Still sword strike here? Yeah, why not? Nine damage. And we even dodged as well to go on top of it. 
If we can take this guy out, then we should be fine. So we'll drop you here, Soren. Sorry for picking you up and all. Do worry about Jill's motives, however, but Rolf can get healed up. In fact, what'll happen is, is Rolf can move over there, attack here. Bowman strikes. Not a problemo. And then we could move someone like Neff in to just finish it off. Nicely done. As long as she hits, that is. Let's use the one charge. Wolf doesn't need healing this turn. It does need healing in the future. Alright, an Iron Lance broke, we got ourselves a coin, and now we can get healing whoever we need to heal yet again. So, probably Boyd yet again, or we could go across for you. We don't have anyone near us apart from this guy who isn't going to reach to attack us next turn. So, we've pretty much got a free turn this time. Do whatever we need to do. So, let us get a heal on. And breathe a sweet sigh of relief. We survive that first attack. There's only a couple of people left on the map, so I see you next time for Path of Radiance, where I hope to, well, maintain this defense at a better standard. Bye-bye.